Tuesday, July the 20th, the big political time bomb for the Democrat Party is whether it will be dissolved or not. But when I heard that the DSI, Department of Special Investigation, has dropped charge against TPI mm -hmm. over 258 okay. million baht uh, that it was supposed to have contributed to the Democrat Party, I think something fishy is happening. Uh, yes, uh, as the Kuchalem um, from the Thai Party said, mm -hmm. he, he sent something very fishy <laughs> happening at the moment. Well, politically anyway. Politically, yes. Mm -hmm. um, the Democrat Party, um, although they say they, they, they are not uncocking the champagne yet, but yeah. this is a big, big relief for them oh. uh, legally. Why? Did, because do they, they, do they, they think that this, uh, if the money was not bad money from the beginning, it could not be bad money after it's transferred. Yes, uh, they are trying to fight the case by saying that if this is, if there was no robbery, yeah, how come somebody could be charged with receiving stolen goods? <laughs> oh, okay. So um, now the DSI has already ruled that there was no robbery. No robbery. Uh, the TPI. So the money is clean. Um, from the DSI point of view. Uh -huh. um, the the ruling said there was no evidence to mm -hmm. prove any wrongdoing, but the prosecutor has indicated that they want to proceed with the same amount of money in relation to contribution to the Democrat Party. Yes, they still can do that. Mm -hmm. um, the EC, the Election Commission, mm -hmm. and the prosecutors can still try to establish some links between the money and a cousin of uh, Kun Pradip, uh, who, who is was, an executive member of the Democrat Party. You, yes. Uh, if they can somehow establish uh, the link between the money and uh, this cousin of Kun Pradip, and then establish the link between the party yes. and this cousin, that would be, uh, they, they, could, they could still make a case. But has that amount of money actually gone through the Democrat Party books? and then gone out? That, that's another thing. If uh, the prosecutor and the EC could even uh, establish some link, mm -hmm. the Democrat can still say that uh, we have nothing to do with the money uh -huh. because the cousin of Kun is, uh, it's not nothing, uh, he has nothing to do with us. Uh -huh. The Democrat can still but say... Is there a link with Kun Prasit? Yes. The money uh, trail. Um, no, but the the fact that uh, it's the Kun Prasit's cousin who uh, uh -huh. received the, who allegedly received the money that uh, uh, that has been a problem with the Democrat. So party. the Democrat Party has to prove that the money never actually went into the coffers of the party. Yes, the first they will try to say that uh, there was nothing wrong from the beginning, so there should be edit there shouldn't be anything wrong yeah. at the mm -hmm. end tail of the uh, money. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But if they cannot fight on that ground, they can still say that we have nothing to do with Kun Tong Chai, who is the cousin of that Kun Pradit. How independent is DSI, the Department of Special Investigation, from government influence? It's directly under yes. government, right? Yes. So uh, the, the, it is the, obviously, it cannot deny that there will be suspicion. It's a key issue. Uh, the DSI started this case under the Song Chai Wong Sawat government. Yes. Actually, it was a case, it was an accusation from the stock market mm -hmm. against the TPI. Mm -hmm. And then the government asked the DSI to uh, carry out investigation into alleged uh, illegal mm -hmm. uh, contribution to the Democrat Party. But now that uh, the Democrat Party is uh, the government by now, yep. and the Thai <laughs> the Party is accusing the DSI of uh, also being <laughs> under political influence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, this time bomb will become very interesting part of the political landscape. It depends on whether it will be diffused mm -hmm. before an other case that involves uh, 29 million baht, uh, 29 million baht. That the Democrat Party has been also mm -hmm. charged with uh, violation of the election law. So we shall see if the first big time bomb is diffused, what about the smaller but probably more explosive one?